Hey guys, we are at the Don Garlitz, Big Daddy Don Garlitz Museum, Mopar Show, it's an annual Mopar Show. We've already seen a lot of different cars. We've looked at Challengers, we've looked at Cudas. We went in Don's garage and met the man himself and saw him in there and all his cars and also the stuff he's selling in his garage sale. And we've already seen the darts and all the dusters and demons and all that stuff so now we're going to go up and see the road runners and chargers and i think there's a super bird or two i think i saw up here so it might be a daytona not sure but we're going to walk around check these out so come with us take a tour and uh if you haven't seen we can also win a viper so look at that video because they're giving away a viper so you can go and check that out as well so let's come back with me and we're going to go and see all the chargers challenges road runners that kind of stuff all right, we'll be back in just a moment. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna go and check out all the chargers. And I think there's either a Daytona or a Superbird I saw up there. Could be real, could be fake, who knows? Sometimes it doesn't make a difference if you're just having fun with it and putting it on a track. But we're going to go up here, see all the Roadrunners and everything. If you might see some of the cars here that we saw when we were up at Carlisle this year at the Mopar show. And if you do, point them out to me. So let's start here. We're not going to talk about every single car we see because that would take like the next four days. So we're just going to kind of walk around and uh, try to show you the engine, the interiors, showing you the cars themselves. Um, I may talk to somebody if we stop and see something cool. So we got Pistol Grip, Road Runner. I don't see the little purple Road Runner <laughs> horn. There we go. This one's got a purple Road Runner horn. <laughs> 70 Roadrunner. Yeah. It's a real Roadrunner. 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner, yes. And how long have you had it for? I haven't had it long, about just under two years. Okay. Is it a restoration or an original? Full restoration, okay. about 13 years ago. So it's holding up pretty well. Um, I mean, it's solid, solid, solid. When the body and paint guy in Tennessee it was about $30,000. Here's the build sheet for this one. So Crowder Chrysler, this was the Roadrunner package. It says right there, Plymouth Roadrunner, $3,295.65, and there is your broadcast production build sheet right there. Very cool. Pink and it's the original color, original everything. Original color B5 blue with uh, B7 uh, interior. And blue on blue. numbers matching, numbers everything. Numbers matching. It was an automatic car, and they upgraded it to a pistol grip, which, you know, that's... The, that's every person that owns Everybody wants does the pistol. That. Everybody wants the pistol. It's not real if you don't have a pistol grip, and that's not true. Yeah. But everybody, everybody thinks it's yeah, true. So it's a pretty fair uh, upgrade. Um, oh, okay. As far as everything else, is uh, stock, stock, stock. Right. Uh, Oh, it's a beautiful car. And then, do you know where it came from or any Tennessee, history? Tennessee, it was uh, bought in Tennessee. I spoke to the original owner when I got it. Uh, and he's the one that told me about the body shop in Tennessee as okay. well that did the restoration. Spoke to them. He says, yes, B5 Blue. And he says, oh, yeah, we remember that car. And I was just trying to find out as much history as possible. And when I got it, didn't have the build sheet, but I got the build sheet. The guy sent it to me. He said, I have it, I just don't know where it's at. Oh, so then he so found it. He had moved a couple times after that. He says, you know, I'll, I'll try to find it. And I gave him my information and he was nice enough to send it to me. Wow, which was that's really sweet. cool, which made now now I really have the value. Yeah, now you know now, what now, it now, is. Yeah. Now you can prove yeah. what it is. And I have a copy of it in the back. I have the original, you know, in the I sink. saw I looked at that, yeah. yeah. So I looked at the build sheet. You have everything back there, so it's yeah, got yeah. the credentials for the car. I grew so. up on him. My father was a big 70 guy, GTX and Roadrunner, so you know, I've always wanted my own. I have a couple cars, but this is my only Mopar. Okay. Well, you had a Yanko, because yeah. I know that, because yeah. we had a Yanko yeah. his, without knowing it. We just met, <laughs> We just met, but I put one of his, his Yanko Camaro. Uh, Nova, Nova. Or Yanko so, Nova. Okay. Yeah. Was it Was it the Deuce? Was it, it wasn't the Deuce. Was it, it was the Deuce. The, the 70, red Deuce? 70 Deuce. It was a silver. Oh, the silver Deuce. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. I know exactly which one was your, because I've only put two Deuces up, two Yanko Deuces, a red right. one. It was right next to the bird. It was uh, that orange bird that you see here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yep. we're right next to it, so you see it in the video. Okay. And I was wondering, who did that? Who did that video? Yeah. See, I meet people all over the country and we're like 
I don't even know how many miles away. We're we're like two hours, three hours away from wherever that was. I don't yeah. even remember. Uh, an hour, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know time. where I'm at. So, yeah. but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Well, it's a beautiful car. Thank so you. I appreciate that. But yeah, thanks, man. Thanks right. for me. What was your first name? Enjoy. Fred. Fred, and from Sean. So, all right, all right cool. Oh, sounds like somebody just blew a tire up on the interstate. That's what that was. So, Plymouth Belvedere, which goes with my cartoon, Oh Belvedere, Come Heel Boy, if you've ever seen. Oh, that sounds like Sean Connery, but should have been a southern accent. Eight-track player. Very cool. Stick shift. Nice interior. Very cool. And it's black. So, really nice. Really nice car. So, is this yours? No, he's running around there somewhere. Belvedere Two. All right. And a 440 blacked out 70, I believe. Oh, 68 Dodge. Why is it 68? Is that the front end for a 60? I thought that was a 70. Could be wrong. Everything's ghosted. Let's see. Don Gartlett's. Chris Hensel. Got all kinds of signatures on this thing. Very nice. Looks like we're getting a little couple drops. Coronet 440. RT charger here, which 68. Oh, Mac. Well, looks like we're getting some liquid sunshine starting to drown. Oh. Only way I know to end a drought, have a car show. There's another green Roadrunner. Coyote Dusta. Beep beep. 383. Beautiful cars. I like the RT Charger. I love the blue ones. Blue ones are perfect. Green ones aren't ripe yet. So, is this yours? How long have you had it for? 10 years. 10 years? Did it look like this when you got it? Pretty much. Pretty much? Okay. So, didn't have to. I didn't have to re. Original RT? Yeah. Okay. But it's not numbers match. Not, okay. Motor was changed. So, same motor, just different numbers? Or, yeah. Same okay. motor of what I understand, but I don't know. Why. Okay. Still a beautiful car. And you can't beat blue and black. So, the root beer is nice, too, but... That's a Magnum under there. Super Fury rag top with the offset. Cars for sale. He has a whole, let's see. 426 super stock, Sport Fury. How you doing? Um, yeah, Junkyards and barn farms. Yeah, I am navies. <laughs> yeah. All right, country club. Puddle jumper? Yep. Okay. There you go. This is the guy that belongs to oh, this okay. and all the other ones in there. Okay. He's got like 10. Okay. Just walked away. So he's selling all these? Yep. Everything all right, so he's got this car and that car and that car and that car and this car and that car and that car and all these cars guys no he's not selling the family not yet not yet so i mean but everything's for sale make an offer this is this this one is this one and then he's that got it and that, is that used to be his wife's car and she okay. is radical okay the wife or the car uh, the, the car okay yeah all right let's just get that straight so I think that's fine okay yeah so 
So these are all for sale. And actually I have his information, which I will put in the description. His name is Hemi Don. And if you were born and your name is called Hemi Don, of course you're gonna own a bunch of cars. If that's his given name. Look at that. So he's got all these cars. And I have a phone number. I actually have an email. So I'm gonna put the email. It's hemidon1 at gmail.com. If you guys are interested in any of these cars, and it's not the Hemi Don Gartlets, it's a different Don, just saying. Or maybe Don it's Sevilla. Not. Don Sevilla. And so it's his cars. So if you are interested in any of these, um, I won't be able to show everything, obviously. But if you're in, if want any kind of Mopar, call this guy. He's got a bunch for sale. I'll put his, or don't call him, email him. I got his email right here. We'll put it on screen below. He also has a Datsun Roadster. 69 Datsun 2000. Not a dot not a 2000 Datsun 69, a 69 Datsun 2000. So we're not talking about 2000 car. So I know it's very but he's got Challengers and oh, is that Cuda? No, Challenger. Challenger. Okay. So Challenger. So he's got a bunch of cars and we're going to show this one real quick, but if you want any of the other ones or interested, his email will be on the screen. Reach out to him. You guys know I don't get involved in sales or any of that kind of crap because I don't need states coming after me to tell me I'm an unlicensed dealer. So if you buy something, if he buys something, and if I see you sometime, buy me a burger or something if you want, or just say, hey, I bought that car so I could take down his email address. So here's another one that has no license plate and it's got no radio, but it's got a really big engine in it. Let's see, and it is for sale, make an offer. 332-425-1434 will so it does have a nice wrap on it and I don't know what kind of console shifter thing that is but okay it's got some old school craggers on it it's cracked putty in the back it's a fixer upper for sure but I mean it's fun Nice 71. Ooh, nice GTX. So this was in a magazine, it says Grand Spalding 71 Super B. It's a Mr. Norm car. And a GTX, 71 GTX 440, 727, on the column, different, Road Test Magazine, Car of the Year. Super B, Pennsylvania.
All right, guys, it's really, 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 really rare special edition SE because it has the sunroof. So 72 Dodge Charger SE with the sunroof. And that was really rare back in the day. Owned by the same family since 85. Assuming these are yours, or you're just trying your keys out oh, on all the cars no, no. that you show. Oh, okay. Give you one of my cards for junk guards and bar finds for a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Well, was not now. April. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 